You guys, guess who just became a level 10 alchemist? This handsome man right here. After making him drink a countless number of invigorating elixirs and keeping him bound to the attic for days, we finally, finally have a level 10 alchemist in the house. I am so excited. Darian has mastered the alchemy skill and now it's going to be up to him to learn as many different recipes and to make all of these amazing different things as possible and it's gonna be much much easier if we can get his amazing daughter Zelda her little um, collector helper lifetime reward and we are still pecking away at that let's see how close she is <gasps> still 6,000 points away but her boyfriend is over and I was taking a good look at um at fine old Ada here and I think that we could definitely spruce him up a little bit we might pop over into his house might pop him into Cass he's got some pretty eyes I just feel like we could give him a little bit of a makeover, make him a little bit more appealing. So we're going to work on Eddie. And, you know, we need to hang out with Ginger a little bit, too. We haven't really let poor Zelda. She's been so enamored with her boyfriend. But we are trying to get a couple more traits, just like a few things, BFFs, stuff like that. Let's see. Friendly. Get to know. We're just going to get to know for, like, ever. Get to know, uh, boast about gaming skills, let's see, special, talk about the supernatural. So back to these, just trying out, talking about flowers, the outdoors, all sorts of things, because we really want to get to know what Eddie is all about. Meanwhile, Gina is upstairs. She has made herself a little reading nook, staying home with her uh, pretty darn awesome maternity leave has been quite interesting she's been working on her skills right now she is working on leveling up her gardening skill she is one gardening skill point away from being able to plant all of those amazing unknown rare and special seeds so we're trying to get her there so she can put those outside we can bloom them find out what they are darian 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 congratulations darian i forget what the heck i have him doing right now oh, i think making more invigorating oh elixirs of bliss he can now make a whole bunch of elixirs of bliss at the same time. Three at a time. Check this out. So let's see. Darian Northstar just became a master of alchemy. He'll always remember when he was one of the few masters of his field. Congratulations. Darian has just improved his alchemy skill to level 10. Darian can now create a batch of elixirs. This will sometimes give three elixirs per mix attempt. So he gets the, the three now and then. He's thinking about how faithful he is. And Zelda held her little baby sister, Ariel. She held Ariel and took care of her. Ariel's doing great. She's just downstairs. She's chilling, taking a nap. She's been very well taken care of so far. She's just relaxing. I don't know when she grows up. Oh, she ages up in five days. Dang, she's going to be a little baby down here for forever. Oh, she likes beach party music, mushroom omelets. Oh, that's so fitting because apparently... It's truffle hunting season and Ariel Faye just found her first mushroom. I don't know how she did that. Does she ha she doesn't have a mushroom like in her inventory or anything. And her favorite color is violet, just like her dad. So she really is kind of a daddy's girl and it'll be so cool to see her grow up and watch her maybe gain some of Darian's features. We'll see if she has anything with Gina. I definitely want to try again for baby in the future with Gina and Darian, another procreation elixir. I just wanna see what other kids they would have, but that's so fun. So everyone's kind of working. Uh, oh yeah, and Dar or Zelda went to a field trip. Do, 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 Darian, how are you doing? He wants to play with the kitten again. You always wanna play with the kitten. Darian, you actually have something very serious to do. Well, let's have him go downstairs and he's gonna introduce himself to Eddie. Like, that's important. I don't think he's really introduced himself to Eddie yet, actually. She's like, so this is my family. Aw, she wants to become best friends with her dad. When, she, when did you stop being best friends with your dad? Well, she's talking about her family. So let's go ahead and ask for help. Learning. No. Uh, invite to join conversation. No, I want a friendly hug. Where's a hug? I want a hug. There we go. They haven't really interacted as a family enough. We're going to work on that. Darian's waving to soot. Oh, they're talking about her family. Really getting to know. She's like, yeah, my dad just had a baby girl. I have a little sister now. 
You want to talk to your familiar. That's fine. We're waiting for your daughter to finish talking to her boyfriend for a second. We still just know he's friendly. It's such a mystery, this man. Are you okay? Cloud, why are you hungry? Come over and eat then. Alright. And then Darian, your daughter wants to give you a hug. And you're going to greet Eddie by throwing a vial of bliss at him. Alright. Vial bliss. And throw elixir at Sim. Eddie. And then throw elixir at Sim. Zelda. He's just going to start throwing bliss everywhere. He also oh, needs to find four insects of any kind and return them to the science lab. Eddie, where did you go? Why are... <gasps> Eddie, no! Oh, jeez, I thought he was going outside to the cow plant. That would be so bad. Why is... Okay. Wow. Hi, dear. How you doing? I really hope Eddie wasn't just headed for the cow plant. Oh, that would be so bad. Can you imagine how sad Zelda would be? I know Darian needs to drink from the cow plant, but we don't need to go that far. Hmm. All right. Zelda, stay. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's one way to get to know your your uh, daughter's boyfriend. All right, and then let's see. Great group outing. Become best friends with your dad. Eh, we'll add that. All right, Eddie. We're no Eddie. Stay. I'm really worried. He's trying to go downstairs. <laughs> and like, oh, I'm like, okay. Let's just have them dance together. And friendly. Give a gift. Um, friendly, just chat, I guess. Trying to get to know his skills. Why is it so hard? I didn't think it would be so hard. Stay, Eddie. I am so worried that he's trying to go get that cow plant. We'll have to keep an eye on that. All right, what's the disgusting surroundings? Who knows? We'll find it. Um, <laughs> Darian, meanwhile, don't pet your cat. We're going to have you eat your apple. Oh, you don't have an apple. We'll conjure your apple. Alright, and then eat it. And we're actually going to have him study the Fountain of Youth Elixir recipe. And we're going to find out what that takes, just in case the cow plant plan doesn't work. Alright, these two kids seem like they're having a good time. They're being chaperoned by Soot, who just took Darian's chair. And Darian himself. How's the baby? She's going to be a baby for a while. Alright, then Gina, how are you doing? So far away from leveling up that skill. Why, 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 why? It takes forever. Who's that? Felipe Van Dyke. Interesting. We might have some new neighbors, maybe? Across the street? You could eat the cow plant cake. I wouldn't mind. Oh, Soot's off to go hunting. Good luck, Soot! Are you guys getting to know each other better? Learning some new traits? Maybe? Oh, Eddie, you are a mystery. An enigma. Come on, but let's learn something about you. Oh, Daria just learned how to make the Fountain of Youth. Oh my gosh. What does it take? Tell me. Doom, 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 doom. Fountain of Youth elixir. Tanzanite. A green swallowtail butterfly. And any mushroom. All right, so do we have any of those things? I don't think we do, but you know how we can get them? Converting things with magic. So let's actually have him come in here and wash his hands. Did we not magically upgrade? Yeah, we did. It's just, you can replace them. And then we're gonna have Darian come upstairs and practice converting things with magic for a while. Gina, how are you? Help 50 plants bloom magically. Get married. Improve your gardening skill. We'll let her keep working on that. Baby's doing okay? Yeah, Zelda, this is driving me mad. How can we not learn anything new about your boyfriend? Seriously? Okay, Eddie, I give up on that. I seriously do. We're just going to smooch on you till we're BFFs. Amorous hug. Hold hands. What does it take to be BFFs, eh? Learning what we have in common, maybe? Sit, miss the, the tricky creature. Oh. There we go. Have a great date. When did this become a date? Okay. I guess we're on a date now. Looks like it's just Zelda and Eddie now. Hopefully they have a great date. Well, I don't know what made this a date, but there we go. Um, uh, tell a fairy tale, I guess? 
Amorous hug. Oh, there we go. Now we're starting to roll some some things. We're gonna. Want him. She wants to give him a kiss. Let's do. Oh, there's your dad. A shy kiss. That would be so cute. And Darian's like, my father's senses are tingling. I must come downstairs and see what my daughter is up to. Darian, get yourself upstairs. We are trying to convert some apples here. Go. Go. Upstairs. We'll keep an eye. Don't worry. We'll watch her. All right. Put this. Ah, ah, ah. Get back over here, poison apple. Remind us not to leave the poison apples where the future toddler is going to be able to reach them. All right. Meanwhile, Gina... You are so worn out, my sweet love. So we're going to actually swap out those things and have her go downstairs. Drink some pollen punch and use the bathroom and go to bed. The baby's probably going to wake up any second too. Whoops, not relax. Sleep. Zelda on her first date in the house. Her dad's probably like, hey, you know, I've got a magic wand, and I know how to use it. And Eddie's probably like, that's a very confusing statement. I'm not sure how to take that. Oh, a little shy kiss. That was cute. Let's see, watch a movie. Can we watch a movie here in the house? Is that like a thing we can do? Turn on? And then can we, let's see, work out? No, just turn off. Alright, well, let's see. Have a great date. We want to be BFFs. Uh, discover what they have in common and they'll be BFFs in no time. Well, Eddie looks like he's pretty much our friend. And it's, oh, it's really late. Actually, Eddie, it's time for you to leave. Like, honestly. I think they had a great date. She wants to go on. We didn't spend that much time together, but whatever. It's good. Maybe we'll do more next time. Guys, it's like 11 p.m. Yadda ya. Yadda ya. So I don't know how that went. That or like you need to you need to go home. Good night. Good night, Eddie. Good night. Ah. Uh, why is it so difficult to get like your wishes? It's just so close, so close. Just a little bit more, Zelda. Are you going to snuggle your sister? Well, that's really sweet, and it lets your, your future mother sleep. Well, I guess technically, like, Gina is so your mom already, so it's totally okay. That is so cute. Zelda is just totally taking good care of her sister, kind of enchanted with her boyfriend. Alright, let's put the baby away. Good job. Good job, big sister. All right, and we'll let her go ahead and we'll have her turn on her aura. Let's see, aura of soothing, and then pop inside the fairy house to drink some pollen punch and go to sleep, and then she'll go to school in the morning. Darian, Ugh! what is with this cat litter box? All of the Sims are like obsessed with it. So he's going to take the cat litter out, and then we'll send him upstairs to do some conversion rituals. And he wants to brood for three hours. Darian, you are such a goose. You know that? You didn't even convert the apple. Are you serious? Get up here. Run. Come on. Come on. All right. Let's see if we can get some of like tanzanite or a green swallowtail butterfly. Miso ginari. Miso ginari. It's just the faster way to try this. Spot beetle. Nice. Well, that's kind of rare actually. So we'll go ahead and put that down in Zelda's room because she kind of collects beetles. I think she really does collect beetles. So we're going to pop that in her inventory and then go down and plunk it on top of her assassin beetle. In fact, we're going to we're going to move things around. Zelda's room has not been updated since she was a child. We seriously need to, like, tweak this. But at the same time, I think her sister's probably going to end up with her room. Because Zelda, like, lives outside. She really lives in her fairy house. And her little sister's going to be a witch. So she won't have fairy abilities. That's going to be totally different for this household. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Swinging light? No. Simple porch light? No. No. We need something nice and interior yeah, it's kind of simple, but it does the job. Let's just get it in here. Very simple room. 
might get a nice little shelf to store all the bugs, but for now we're just going to kind of put them in here, stack them on top of each other. Let's see. All right, Zelda, that's your assassin bug that Soot caught for you. Your homework's done because you do it automatically because you're awesome that way. Uh, she's got, let's see, the gardening book, the multi-tap book. Oh, there's the bug. Rare spotted beetle. There she goes. Look at that. Isn't it so cool when your dad can just go ahead and, like, transform things for you? It doesn't look like a very spotted beetle. It looks like a shiny silver lump. Darian, I don't know if you did that conversion ritual very well. I'm, I'm blaming you, sir. So tanzanite and a green swallowtail butterfly and a growing baby girl. I'm very excited about that. All right, cast the conversion ritual. And hopefully in the morning, Gina will be able to level up her gardening skill enough that she'll be able to bloom the rare plants and the money tree. And if she can start blooming, is that really tanzanite? Like, did we just seriously get tanzanite? What is this? Darian, what did you just collect? Oh, Fluite, a precious gemstone that is loved by many and hated by none. Okay, well, we'll keep that because that might be useful. And where's your, yeah, we'll continue with the poison apple. Ooh, wow, 366. I wonder if that's worth, like, an alchemy ingredient or not. Nafu. Now what do we have here? This is new. Carbon steel. Dang, Darian. You're kind of on a roll. Let's see. He has buzzberry. Um, what else can we end up with here? This is cool. Uh, 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 careful there. Conversion ritual. And he can learn some pretty cool spells, too. So Darian is getting to be a pretty cool witch. We might just convert, like, four insects and then take them to the lab. Oh, hey! Speaking of insects. Well, there's one insect. How many do we have? One. One! <laughs> I think we only have one insect. Oh, we have two. We have that light beetle that we never gave, uh, never gave our daughter. But that's okay. It's probably, like, dead by now, to be honest. It's been in here for a while. Um, Darian, where'd your other poison apple go? Ah, there it is. Alright, let's see what else he's got up his sleeves. This is so fun, because it's just so random. You never know what awesome stuff you're going to get. Nafu. Ooh, an unknown special seed. Sweet, that's what we're talking about. All right, you. Conjure some apples. Harbin Sunsei. Harbin Sunsei. And then cast the conversion ritual on it. They're all normal apples. Wicho Jinar. Wicho Jinar. Tanak. Another light beetle. Well, you know, we're going to just gather those up. Oh, see, now he can deliver the objects to the Holy Cow Memorial Hospital. So we'll have him do that and complete that opportunity in a little bit. But let's keep doing this for just a minute more. That's so cool. Whoa. -ho -ho. Unknown special seeds. See what I mean? We are getting a lot of really cool seeds that we can fork over to our beautiful Gina. And the baby. The baby is hungry. Gina, she wants to feed Tim. Gina, go ahead, give a couple bottles to the baby girl. Snuggle her for a minute, and then we'll come back down and speak with you in a second. Tonight. Tonight. A spaceship cookie. A spaceship cookie. Oh, it's so freaking cute. Darren, I love you. I love how random these are. You never know what you're going to get. A spaceship cookie. I did not. I'm thinking bug. I'm thinking insects. I think as the higher his skill is going, the cooler some of the random things he's coming up with are. And I think they're totally random. Like, I think if we took a mandrake root and cast a conversion ritual on it, I don't think it would, like, be any different than the apple. Pretty sure. Nothing. Nothing. Yep, see, we just got a fairy damsel. But I found out you can scoop out the little fish. Scoop. And then scoop. Now it's in our pocket, because I'm sure that's healthy. And then you can cast the conversion ritual on the empty bowl. Isn't that amazing? Bonjour, Darfi. Bonjour, Darfi. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. That's the green swallowtail butterfly we need. Darian! I didn't actually think you could do it. 
I am so sorry I doubted you. You guys, that's one step closer to the Fountain of Youth Elixir. We have mushrooms out the yin yang, and now we have this green swallowtail butterfly. We just need the tanzanite. Do we have the tanzanite, maybe? Darian, are you about to drink from the Fountain of Youth? Can we do it? Can we? Get over here, sir. Meow. Let's see, let's see. <gasps> we can! You guys! Oh my gosh, we can make the Fountain of Youth Elixir. Okay, we're, we're gonna create this. I had no idea we had the Tanzanite. Okay, in goes the Tanzanite. Oh, this is exciting. You're about to totally be able to stay alive, keep around with your kids. Gina, Gina, this is exciting. No, you're not gonna be friends with Alex. You're actually gonna call him over to be cow plant feed at this rate. So I guess Alex gets to live another day if we do manage to pull this off. All right, are you okay, little one? Yeah, she's all right. So we're gonna put Ariel back in the crib and we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna feed Tim the death fish, who was actually named by my darling, by the way. And we're gonna put her back to sleep. There we go, there we go. I think someone's gonna have a wedding in the morning. Very probably. Darian, I am so freaking excited. Are we really gonna get the Fountain of Youth? That, I can't believe we got the, the one, out of all the insects we can get, we got the one we needed. The Tan's Night, the mushrooms. Did you do it, dude? Oh my gosh. <gasps> he just made the Fountain of Youth elixir. When getting, reverse the aging process with this elixir. We're gonna use it, we're gonna use it. Like, okay, Darian, turn around. This is going to be a big deal. Okay, so he is currently 14 days until elderhood. And now, look at him. We're going to take a minute to admire adult experience Darian. He has raised a daughter almost to teenagehood on his own after finding her abandoned in a field as a fairy baby. He has found love by casting a love charm on a fairy woman that he met who he thought would be a good mother for his daughter. And sure enough, she was for both of his daughters. And now we're going to let him go ahead. Use the elixir. Oh, oh, oh. oh tell well me something done. happened. <laughs> Move now. Oh, whoa. Woo. Is something happening? Woo, okay. <laughs> whoa. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It knocked back his days <gasps> until he's an adult. It looks like Cloud has really taken a liking to Darian. She's chosen Darian as her BFF. What? Darian wanted to take a trip down memory lane. There's no better, better way to do it than become a young Sim again. He is like a young adult Sim again. <gasps> He's going to be able to totally keep up with Gina now. Oh my gosh. Darian, congratulations. We now have used the Fountain of Youth. He will be able to keep up with his fairy daughter and his fairy partner, who we are probably going to make a wife tomorrow. That is so freaking exciting. All right, guys, I will see you next time. I'm thinking it is time for these two to get married now that we know Darian is going to be around for much longer. That is so exciting. Oh my gosh, and we're going to have him do a whole bunch of conversion rituals to raise his magic skill and also to be able to snag some more rare seeds. Gina is almost high enough level to plant any seed and she can bloom them too. This family is going to be rocking socks off pretty soon. And Zelda, we're almost there, sweetie. Almost there. So close. So close. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.